And now, Hoda and Jenna present Titanic in two minutes. I'm the king of the world! I hate my life and my fiance, and I just think it's now. I think I'm gonna jump off the Titanic and escape it all. No, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, fine. Uh, Jack, if you teach me to spit like a man. Oh, okay. Oh wait, that is disgusting, never mind. Rose, you know what? I think you should leave your super rich fiance and come with me. I literally have nothing except for the few seconds that we've spent together on this ship. Sorry, I'm going to pass. Oh. Oh. Wait, actually, I changed my mind. Yes, I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it. Oh. me like one of your French girls wearing only this mm. and three layers of space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take it off. <laughs> Iceberg, right ahead! Thank you. I promise, Jack, but also there's definitely room on this door for you to just stay with me. Oh, no, look, it's been amazing, but I kind of feel like I'm out of here. I'm repotting. I'm going to repot myself elsewhere. You're going to repot yourself into the ocean? Yep. Bye. No! <laughs> From Rockefeller Plaza in New York City, it's Hoda and Jenna's blockbuster Halloween. Starring Hoda as Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack, and Jenna as Kate Winslet as Rose. Also starring Anthony Mackie, Alan Cumming, and featuring Justin Sylvester. So pop your popcorn, because the show starts right now. Halloween, we oh, love this day. Oh God, this was so fun. So much, even though both of our brains are being squeezed. Oh, by the wigs? By the wigs. Uh -huh. Well, it was, wasn't that so much fun this morning? We had the best time. So we are Jack and Rose, as you know, from Titanic. That was kind of fun, making it in one minute, all the Titanic moments. I love moments. that. Remember all those moments? <laughs> and we got to walk up on that great ship and face the Titanic, face the iceberg. Um, we had a blast. It was really fun. By the way, the whole everybody really turned Dylan it out. And Al. Dylan and Al's Beetlejuice were like, that was, Al was totally creepy. And he Dylan was me amazing. He basically all morning. Yep. He made a baby cry on the plaza. There's Willie, his anchor <laughs> no, man. No one was better than that. We love Willie Scotch, so much. Scotch, Scotch, Scotch. Okay. Then Chanel and Carson from Austin Powers. Oh, you know what? Chanel's dance numbers will always steal the day, even though she claims. She said to us, I'm not dancing this year. Yeah. There's Carson. Look at Carson. Adorable. <laughs> we just, it was so much fun. Laura brought it. She from Bring It On. How cute is Craig that? was awesome from Beverly Hills Cop. We have Savannah Zell Woods. Yeah, and also Luke Wilson actually came and here. And stayed. And stayed. And then a, a showstopper. We had so many showstoppers. Yeah. Sorry, but I. I didn't know Peter Alexander's moves were, hang on. Look yeah, at that. that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Peter Alexander, our White House correspondent. By the way, I've been, with Peter. Out. I've been with Peter one time as a partner back when we did Top Gun. And he really oh, does. Right. There's like a like a little musical theater kind of competitive in, in there where it, he goes crazy. It's so funny because tomorrow he will be back on the campaign <laughs> trail. But today he's, he's missed, missed out fire. fire. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, how do you feel to be the guy? I feel like last year I was Cher, which was an, a nice thing. I feel like, first of all, when I looked in the mirror at this lid that I have on right now, I swear to you, I had a total flashback. When I was in seventh grade, some uh, guy who was cutting my hair thought my hair was damaged and decided he wanted to chop it short to fix it. And it looked, I don't, I don't know, I couldn't find the picture. Anyway, okay, it doesn't fine. matter. But it looked like this. Exactly like this? Yes. So when you looked in, you were like, hey, I me. was like, hey, me from Stephen. Foster Middle School. Oh my gosh, that's what you look it. like. You, you played a guy many a 
time. Yeah. We have Elton John. We have you did Garth, remember? All of those oh, guys. Oh, I did Garth from Wayne's World. Yeah, I guess there's a theme here. Yep. Blake? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we there's point just, made. We point gotta made. thank all of the people that helped this. It's amazing. Yeah. Our costume designer, Stacey Greenbaum. Our wardrobe lead, Alec, Alex Rosansky, Lyle Jones, and our entire wardrobe department. And what about all of the incredible hair and makeup team? Led by Laura, Laura. Castorino and Mary Kaler. Exactly. Plus Ed Helbig and uh, yeah, the design Ed's amazing. team. Incredible. Okay, so are you leaving this on for trick-or-treat or what are you doing? No, I can't. I mean, this can only it's a stay on. You're dying right What's now. What's happening right now is a rib is being pushed into place. You kind of look good as a redhead. I was just thinking that when I was looking over. Doesn't Janet look? No, look at, look you guys, at, we you need to do of, this. No, you kind of have a little bit of redhead situation. Like we you don't can pull need it to. off. We don't need to. I'm just saying uh, okay. it works. Sometimes should it doesn't. Should we talk about some celeb costumes? Yes, we should. Should we? Okay, yeah. so there were tons of celebrities that already stepped out. Selena Gomez and Benny Blanco. They dressed. Did you see them? Look at them. Alice. Oh, Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter. By the I, way, like, can we re recreate? I love how fun they are. Photo Nate, can we do a sh like a little picture thing of us after that, kind of like them? Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> there was also three different actors who played homage to Halle Berry. Okay, so stay with us here. <laughs> Halle, Halle Bailey. Bailey was Halle Berry from her James Bond era. Then we have singer Tyla as Halle from the Berry Flintstones movie. From the Flintstones. And then rapper Coyla Ray as Halle in as Catwoman. Catwoman. So, by the way, Halle Berry's had some iconic I roles. I were mean, they no, all, do you think they were all together when they did that? Yeah. They were, were they all separate? All dressed as her and they didn't say, hey, let's dress up together? That is so crazy. I mean, that's insane. But Halle Berry what wrote did she say? and said they all crushed it. Yeah, they did. We, our friend Kelly Clarkson across well, the street. Let's see. Oh, they all, oh. She also dressed up as Beetlejuice. Wow. That's Kelly Clarkson? Yeah. No, it isn't. No, it is not. I'm sorry, it is that not. That is crazy. Is it really? How Insane. did they do all the teeth? You saw Al's teeth? Yeah, the teeth were They were gnarly. I was in that room oh. sort of barfing while it was happening. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. All right, we got a great show for you today. Hollywood superstar Anthony Mackie is going to join our Halloween party. He's got a brand new movie. Plus, Alan Cumming is literally king of the world when he stops by. And up next, our pal Justin Sylvester gets in on the Titanic fun with a special edition of The Scoop. That's after this. Hold up and jam is that famous scene from Titanic after the ship hits the iceberg and Jack sacrifices himself by letting Rose <laughs> float away on the door. That scene has sparked debates because y'all, there was plenty of room on that door. And, and so here with the inside scoop is the door. The door's here? Let's find out. The door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, door. It is. It's I, uh -huh. the door. <laughs> you know, I'm just here to clear up some rumors. There's conspiracy theories, and I'm here to clear the air and shut the door because people are blaming me <laughs> for Jack dying. But I got proof that it was Rose's fault. Uh -huh. Exhibit one. <laughs> this is a photo of me before I went on door zimpic. Okay. I was thicker. I was stronger. <laughs> so first of all, Rose climbed on. And then Jack followed. And I thought we were cool. Because, you know, in the club, you know, we all fam. <laughs> Next thing I know, Jack falls off like a member of Destiny's Child in the early 2000s. <laughs> now, did I think it was weird that he didn't climb back on again? Yeah. Did I think it was weird that she didn't try to help him back? Mm-hmm. But what I thought was really weird was that while her man was taking his last cold plunge, she had, had the nerve to take a nap. <laughs> all right, so Rose had eight hours of sleep. Doesn't this feel like a guilty party? <laughs> and then she had the nerve to wake up and act like she didn't know he was going to die, girl. It's the Atlantic. It's cold. <laughs> I mean, isn't this crazy? Oh, my gosh, Mr. Door. Door. You crushed it. But wait, Dora, have you spoken to anybody else 
who made oh, the movie? Yeah, actually, um, you know, James Cameron, Jimmy, one of my good friends, who's also a character witness in my defamation case against Rose, <laughs> and I have been talking, and also Kate Winslet and I have some beef right now because she's been saying my name in the press all <laughs> week. <laughs> talking about I'm not even a door. <laughs> but baby, I'm all door, okay? <laughs> and you know you're that door when you cause all this conversation. <laughs> Door. We need you over here, honey. By the way, that was so good. Hilarious. Why did Kate win that? That was so good. That oh, was are you going to so stand good. for the screen? I'm going to stand for the screen. Wait, now, why did Kate Winslet say you weren't a door? I didn't understand that. I don't know what she, she was saying. She said it was a else. real door. Oh, my God. No, it's a real door. I you can't. You want to take authentic. it off? Can you breathe? No, I can breathe. Okay, okay. All right, let's <laughs> okay, talk. tell us what's going on. We got to do the scoop. We got to hear about Tina. Bro, <laughs> Tina knows. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously I can't right now. I actually can't either. But <laughs> Tina knows is shutting it down. She's releasing a book called Matriarch. Listen to this. It doesn't even come out until April 22nd. She's already number one what? on Amazon. What? And this book is going to cover her birth all the way in Galveston, all the way to becoming a cultural icon. What? Oh my God. Now get this. Okay. I'm going to just say it like it is because I'm a door. Yes, you are. All right. I'm not hiding behind the door tonight. I'm worried for Beyonce. Why? Because you know when people get a seven in front of their ages, you know, they become WikiLeaks. Like, my mother tells all my business now that she's 70. So I'm a little worried. And Beyonce went ahead and put out a photo supporting her mom, and she said, so excited for my mom. Please don't spill too much tea. What? Yes. Oh, that's what yes. You oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, wait, somebody else is going viral for sitting next to Taylor Swift's dad. Okay. If someone works at Us Weekly, someone needs to give this girl a job because she got more, <laughs> more first-hand information in that economy seat than anyone else has ever gotten. Okay, so what happened? Steve, T Steve Swift, who's also 72, who's now WikiLeaks, <laughs> gave Taylor all of this information. She said she didn't even ask him a question, but he, he told her that he loves Travis Kelsey, oh. that Travis has had the biggest impact on Taylor oh. Swift in the last 12 years, Sweet. and that he loves the Kelsey. Family. Wow, I love that. Now this Are all we predicting a marriage door? Oh, I'm yeah. predicting that she's gonna be engaged by March. Okay, let's March. bet on it. Yes, March. By March. Come on. Yes. March. Okay. She won't tell you she's engaged. She'll have one of those secret weddings and then release it on a you know an album video. <laughs> and then we'll find out that it was like the date of her cat's birthday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that Benjamin. was awesome. We Great love job. you, Justin. Job. So cute. And y'all yeah. catch Justin <laughs> weeknights at eleven on our sister network. Coming up next, Hollywood Super superstar cute. Anthony Mackie is all decked out for Halloween. And now he's not dressed as Captain America. We'll let you know right after this. <laughs> All right, that is the iconic scene from the blockbuster movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. And now, appearing as the legendary archaeologist Indiana Jones, please welcome the one, the only, Anthony Mackie! Oh! Oh! Yes! 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 Anthony! Yes. Now, y'all got it wrong. I'm not Indiana Jones. I'm Louisiana Jones. There you go. I got crawfish in my boots, just in case. Louisiana. Wait, this is your, wait, this you is your kind of costume. costume. Yeah. Tell and I don't have Harrison Ford. That's my homeboy. We text now. That's what? my boy. No, you text? We're friends. I ain't trying to brag, <laughs> but we're friends. Did, How did y'all become friends? So I did this movie <laughs> called Captain America, Brave New World, and I met Harrison Ford about 20 years ago, I had two scenes in a movie he did called uh, Hollywood Homicide. Yes. And we, we, we became friends, fast friends. And, uh, you know, Kevin Feige called me and was like, yo, I think we need some some heavy hitters. I was like, I got somebody in the boot. So I hit him up and I was like, Harrison, pull up. And he said, he said I'm yes. on it. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. So Harrison yes. is also in Captain America. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any of the commercials? <laughs> did you know? It's a thing. Well, okay, sorry. I did. We knew right. that. Right. We knew we that. Did, no. We knew that. We're just okay. We're Halloween. Game. We're yes, still. I'm doing Halloween movies with Harrison Ford now. Yes. Okay, yes. I have. I've grown up. Now let's talk about Halloween in your house. Yes. 
You've got some kids. I have kids. <laughs> yes, how are many? You? Four. Four. Four boys. <laughs> and what are their ages? Uh, 15, 11 to be 12. Uh, eight to be nine and seven to be eight. Why, Why are we raising them up me? like that? I don't know. I don't make up birthdays. They just happen. <laughs> but, but, okay, so, so do y'all go trick or treating and such? Uh, no, I'm not really. We do this thing called a uh, uh, trick or trunk, right? Oh, yeah. Where everybody nice. open their trunks and you hope people <laughs> don't give your kids drugs. <laughs> It's a thing. So where do you do trick or trunk? Where is You that? do it at the schools or you ah. go to the park. You go to a safe zone. Oh, so you don't go house to house. Because you house. don't want your kids walking around to people's houses nowadays. <laughs> okay. It's just not but, smart. But, but Halloween in New Orleans is pretty fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a New lot Orleans of fun. New Orleans knows how to have any holiday. Party. Yeah. Party. New and Orleans is like, a, if you're an adult and you like like Halloween, New Orleans is the place to go. Because we have everything. I look really good in this. <laughs> Uh, Louisiana Jones is a bad boy. By the way, Louisiana uh, is cracking me up. <laughs> Keep going. Um, no, but you get to, it's, it's just every bar, every restaurant, everybody dresses up. It's just a big thing. It's a big uh, event because New Orleans is a city of, you know, fun yes. and uh, debauchery. So you can, and dancing. And dancing, which is part of fun. It falls under that criteria. <laughs> Anthony yes, it falls under there. there. <laughs> okay, so your kids are obviously old enough to know what you do and how good you are at it. Are they into the superhero part of you? You know what? They could care less. Oh, really? It's really <laughs> impressive. Like my, I'm like, they know I have a job. Mm -hmm. They know that uh, you know, dad is smart. But that's about it. But like, they've seen you in the movie. What do they say when they've they seen see movies? You? They've seen, but they, I don't know if they like. Hey, Dad, that's what you do for a living. I think they think I'm like an FBI agent or something. Yeah. And like the movies are just like a, a <laughs> thing, like a cover up for me being Louisiana well, Jones. Speaking of movies, can we talk about elevation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will you just explain, and we'll try to follow, but will you just explain <laughs> what this is about? We're slow today. Well, I'm sorry, these rings are being tight. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, these are I literally tight. have very few blood, <laughs> no, little blood up there. Look, if I was sitting next to a dude this hot, I would have a problem with that too. <laughs> Is a problem. I love it when Hood is a man. You're surrounded by okay. beautiful chocolate men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first let's show the clip. Okay, fine. From let's show the elevation. clip. Elevation. This is elevation. <laughs> Coming out November 8th. Stairs. What are you doing? I'm right behind you. Oh God. Okay. Oh. What's happening So there? what's going on? Okay, so the movie is called Elevation. I'm a guy, the, the apocalypse <laughs> came, right? And it, it, it went apocalypse, but the apocalypse didn't go over 8,000 feet. I'm not gonna tell you what the apocalypse is, but it came, right? But it stopped at 8,000 feet. So everybody who was up in the mountains survived. 95% of the world's population was wiped oh. out. I cannot get over me in this hat. <laughs> so, <laughs> So over 8,000 feet, people survive. But if you go below 8,000 feet, the apocalypse gets you. Gotcha. So my son, he has asthma. He needs filters for his asthma pump. So I got to go below 8,000 oh, feet what? to get him filters or else he ain't going to make it. So when I go below 8,000 feet, I run into the apocalypse. And that's what you see, me running into the apocalypse. By the way, do you think Anthony? You would do well, Anthony, would you do well if the apocalypse nope. came? Nope, I'd die first. But I Anthony, literally want the apocalypse to take me out first. We would I like do not to, want to survive. This is the most important point. You look so good in that. So Come on. on. You can have that outfit. You know what? I'm keeping this, and I'm wearing it all day. All Thank right. you today, show. Nobody else. Anthony, there's nobody funnier yeah, than you. And of course, awesome. I knew that oh, Harrison Ford was in the. Wait, movie. I'm not ready to go. You guys are rapping. <laughs> we're, no, we're not ready for Where's you. Where's Al? Bring out all the people. <laughs> Al, this hour. Do you watch our hour? No, but you. <laughs> <That's> my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Elevation hits <laughs> theaters November the 8th. I feel bad that we're Where's, just... Who else do you love? I love them all. No, you like, can't. So tell, tell us some of Let's the Let's go names. out on the plaza. Let's take this segment to the streets. <laughs> oh, my God. We love you. Coming up next. Louisiana bash, Jones is sad. We love out. you, Louisiana Jones. Halloween. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Look what we got. We got culinary queen Elizabeth High School. She's <laughs> ready to make some treats. Coming up after this. <laughs> go high school. You are so...
this other one you were talking about in cup a cup a cup. Oh, that's simple. You don't need to write that down. That's a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, a cup of fruit cocktail with the juice, and you mix and bake at 350 to a golden bubbly. Sounds awfully rich. It is. So I serve it over ice cream to cut the sweetness. <laughs> Oh my God, we love that. That's a scene from the 1989 film Steel Magnolias. And if you're wondering if that is cake is easy to make, we are wondering too. We have our very person to make it. Let's welcome today contributor Elizabeth High School. It's Dolly Parton. Hey. Hi. Hello. Oh, Truly. Hi, Truly. 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 How are you? Honey, this is one recipe. You're not even going to have to write it down. It's so easy. I mean, by the way, you didn't even have to prep to get into this. I mean, honey, yourself. this is me. This is me. <laughs> okay, but we'll it's move cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Cup, a cup, a cup. So that's all you have to remember. It's very similar to the dump cake I showed you. I like the time. dump cake. This is one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, and one cup of fruit cocktail. I mean, now hold it. on to Wait, the juices. Wait, with all the juice. Okay. And then we're going to mix this Wait, is that up. is seriously? Is this like a cobbler? We're going to, exactly, honey. It's, now. I love to serve it with a little bit of ice cream because some people think, you know, it's just a little bit rich. By the way, don't you love that ice cream unsweetened? Exactly, this? exactly. It cuts the sweetness. Oh then my god! Then we're gonna pour it we in just here. Put it straight Wait, in is there? that really? It, yes, honey, it is really. It's a wonderful recipe. It's super easy. You don't even have to write Why it. Why ever really wait. made this before? Yes, absolutely. Well, you could do it with peaches. You can do it with any canned fruit, and then you're just gonna cook it. School. Why are you till cooking? It's, why are you till cooking? it's brown but and bubbly. Why are you cooking it in a skillet? Why uh, would we? With anything, honey. Now, you can school, put this in a raise? pie rack. Does it raise like that? It does. It absolutely does. And then, of course, like I said, you know, we need to cut that sweetness a little bit. Mm. So we're gonna add some ice cream. Uh, to by it. the way, that looks so yummy and easy. It, so easy. Should we easy. try it down here? Adorable. You know, Wait. and the. I, I mean, seriously, it is absolutely. Wait, oh, wonderful. you're making some. But it seems like what you're is that? Well, you know, Shelby was so sweet. She invited dear Nell to her wedding. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Gosh. And poor Nell, bless her heart. I don't think she's ever had a sip of alcohol. Probably <laughs> yeah, had never Probably had one. Not. So she just ordered the only thing she could imagine, which was a cherry cola with bourbon. Oh my God. <laughs> cherry cola with bourbon. Exactly. So now we're making it. So now, yes, mm. we're going to make that, mm -hmm. honey, and it's going to be so good. Mm. So we're macerating our cherries. These are just frozen cherries. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some sugar. We're going to muddle this up. And then we put this in the bottom of our glass, which okay. is exactly what we have here. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we're going to top it with cola, add some ice. Wait, come on, girl. It's kind of like a dirty Shirley, honey. You know, dirty like a Shirley. Shirley temple with a little bit of vodka in it? Yeah. And that's it. Wait. Add it with a little bit High of school, ice. What is, what's um, Halloween like in your neighborhood? What do y'all do? Oh, my gosh. We will see a thousand trick-or-treaters tonight. You will? So I go to my friend's house, Michelle. Okay. It's epic. We uh -huh. dress up. Her house is this huge Victorian. We will have wow. a line of trick-or-treaters. Are I'm you going to wear this? Wait, kidding what? You. Oh, well, what else would I Good wear? Lord, yes. I've already <laughs> got my makeup and my hair done. Okay. And, um, and so they will just come. I mean, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Every house on the it. block is so decked out. We get so into it. We've done it for years. Do you, since what the do kids you cook? Were little. What do you cook? Okay, so I do like ribs, and I, what <laughs> I, I do is that. I take a skeleton in the middle of the table, and then I pile no, ribs up on not. all of oh, the that's bones. That's so good. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> that's so it's clever. so <gasps> that's so weird. That, and what, what and then meatballs that we do in eyeballs. Those tacky meatballs that are so good, and we do those in eyeballs. But the one thing though that I did bring y'all was the only thing that everybody agreed on what? at Shelby's wedding was that the groom's cake was horrible. Yes. Shelby? Oh, here. Shelby's here. Shelby Who's is Shelby? here. Hold on, Shelby. Will you bring in the groom's cake? Hi, Hi Shelby. Hi. Oh, oh, my God. God. Della groom's cake. Do y'all remember that I movie? Do. Oh, my God. My remember Shelby's? You Shelby's? That? No. Okay. <laughs> the flower garden in Memphis made this. Honey, I had to bring this thing to security. Can you imagine what I, security said about this? Look at that. Do you but remember look, the scene? Yo, we there remember. it is. Well. Don't you remember? Yeah. Well, and so oh my God, look. we got a hat. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. And I have to say, Hoda, oh my God. I love you, and I I understand why you're leaving, <laughs> but that is how I feel about Me it. Too. I mean, that is it right there. Get that is the armadillo butt is how I feel about it. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> I feel pressure 
so I, you know I will. Oh my gosh. Wow. A little red velvet cake. Thank you, Miss Laura. Get the tail. That's so cute. I, I know. She delicious. can make a cake. That is delicious. Elizabeth, thank oh, yeah. you. Oh, like you have to go. Be you're welcome. welcome. Oh my gosh. Happy you're Halloween, actually, ladies. Your daughter, May. Yeah, no, May, you're so adorable. Shelby. You're I know. Thank you guys. Happy Halloween. So to check out these recipes, head to today.com slash food. Coming up next, the Emmy-winning host of the hit show Traders, Alan Cumming, and his oh. big reveal. What's he wearing? Coming up after this. Great job. Cute. Honest, I can't. When I was 10 years old, it took me up in the Empire State Building, and I got sick in the elevator. is a clip of course from the 1976 blockbuster King Kong and guess who's here is one of the most famous movie monsters of all time it is the one it is the only Alan Cumming <laughs> And you came as King you, Kong, you commit, you, you always commit. You do, all the way. I'm committed. I should be committed. <laughs> this you, is a good look, yeah. It, by the way, it's a great look. I feel like you were someone who loves Halloween, do you? I love Halloween, but I sort of think my job is like Halloween every night. Yeah. You know, or every day, you know what I mean? I dress up all the time, and I love, I love dressing up, I love sort of, like, you know, tonight I'm going to Club Coming to my bar. Oh. And, uh, and and I, I, we Where's dress Club up. Club Coming, by Club Coming's in uh, 6th Street in East oh. Village. Oh, okay. oh we and need to come. It's such fun. It's a cabaret bar. Except and for we go to bed at 8.30. Right. <laughs> okay, things are just you know, aren't even warming up then. But, like, everyone, I, people dress up there a lot as well, mm -hmm. like, in different things. I love dressing up. I mean, and that's well, how I made a career out of it. I mean, sure I was going to say, one of the, the things that people are obsessed with is it hard to I take me seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you gave it look. The wig is sort of squeezing my brain. Uh, yeah, I just people are that, obsessed with your outfits on the traders. Yeah, yes. obsessed. obsessed. Yes, there I am. I know, actually, on my um, Instagram, I got so many, so many people went as me for Halloween this year. Oh, that, really? That, that, uh, the red one was a very popular one. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's good. When we heard about the concept when you came on this show several years ago to talk about it, we thought, oh, that's interesting. But this thing's become a home run. I mean, I know, it's, it's nuts. It's, did you expect this to happen? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, 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 not at all. I mean, I just thought it sounded like a fun idea and thought I'll give it a go. And then all of a sudden, it's this massive thing. Yes. And uh, everybody, and I, I, it's nice actually. I, I, you know, the last season, it felt like what do you call it again in America? A water cooler moment. Yes. Where everybody was waiting. And I, when I when I would go out in public, people would say, "What happens next? Who, who gets put off next week?" I, I feel like we it. asked you when you were here. Yeah. Yes. And since you've been here, you won an Emmy. Yes. Congratulations. Which, uh, you two, but who's counting? Two yeah. Emmys. <laughs> you won for best Awards host, mean nothing. which we've never oh. won and we never will. Yeah. Um, that was a good outfit. You, when you received one of them, you were. It seems like you were asleep. It's like three in the morning. <laughs> what was going <laughs> what on was there? Happening? This there is a good look. That's. Oh my God. I love it. So this is this is it. I was making. <laughs> I was making a film in Glasgow with Brian Cox, and I and it was so I couldn't go to the ceremony, and uh, so I and then I and I and it was like three thirty in the morning was when the I, mean, I, don't, I didn't know why, when mine was going to be announced, but three thirty in the morning my, it was actually my computer in the other room was pinging and my phone and everything was, and I said like, what. And then everybody called me, and I, I just thought, oh, what? And I said, I've got to go back to sleep. I thought, what will I do? So I took some selfies of myself. <laughs> just thought, oh, Emmy winner. And then, of course, you just don't realize that those are going to be all over the world. By the time I woke up, they're on the cover of Hollywood Reporter oh or something. No. <laughs> yeah, By the so way, nuts. so many cool things are happening. You're getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I know, which isn't that is nuts? Such a big it's deal. Crazy. It's so and mental. In addition to that, you're turning 60. You've got lots of big milestones. I know it's hard to believe, girls, but it yes, is. I'm about to be. Are the you big... excited? I am excited. It's sort of, I think birthdays with a zero are always quite exciting because you've got to sort of embrace them. And, yeah. and, I, and I don't, you know, I don't, I feel good. I feel healthy. I don't feel how I used to think 60 was. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, isn't that, you You're know, in the prime of your career. I'm in the prime yeah, of my life. you really yeah. are. And also, like, the thing with the, you know, the Emmy and everything and all this traitor success is that it actually made me think, 
I've, I, I stay open to things. Like, who yeah. would have thought I'd be, you know, yes. winning an Emmy for hosting a reality <laughs> yes. competition yes. show? And so I think that's a good thing about going that's into good. my that's into my sixties is to stay open to new say things. Say yes to and things. To, yes. Yeah, and to, not to shy away from things that you don't think are for you. Yes, that's really cool. It's such good advice. And you have a big announcement just for us. Oh, I do. Yes. yes. You so do. Am I pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> His head just sitting here like this is hilarious. Yes, uh, we would like to say. <laughs> do we have a drum roll? Yes, drum we do. roll, please. There it is. Season three of The Traitors will begin on January the 9th. Nothing. <laughs> Is that one thing? I, I, I'll just say one word. Brutal. 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 I'm going to need some comfort There's, in January, so was, I'm glad to know. A, there was one, you know, the round table thing. Yeah. I actually saw it the other day when I was doing voiceover for it. There was one, like, I'm sort of sitting there whilst they're all chatting to each other, and I mean, I thought I was going to have to break up a fight. What? Oh, yeah, it's like it got, that. It got really, yeah. Oh. And it's got lots of peaks and troughs. It's not all like okay. that, but oh my gosh. Yeah, it's 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 a lot. Oh, we um, can't wait. We want to say thank you. I can't stop looking at your toes. Uh, oh they my are God. so oh, they're like hands. Wait, look at them. Wait, look at them. They're so weird <laughs> they're and so creepy. Weird. I know. I can't take my off of them. Wow. I know. I'm Very funny. Right. You see my real ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're better than that. Season three of Traders premieres as we just heard January 9th on our streaming network. Peacock we Allen, thank you so wait much. For that, you Alan. look so fantastic. Coming up next, y'all, there is no Jack or Rose without the Titanic. And a performance by the cast of the hit musical Titanic coming up <laughs> after this. No, Do it for us, you guys. We had so much fun. We want you to look at our crew for a look second. They crew. dress up. Take it nice and slow, all the way here. Nice and slow. Come on, all the way down. How much Wait, fun. check out these eyeballs. Look at Matt. Scary. Here's Chris. Come on, all the way down. Yes. All the look way at the down. rock. Look at the rock. We got. You guys, you we got 